Hi guys, <clears throat> this is just a funny little experience that happened to me uh, recently. You know, as uh, you know, into spirituality as I am, and all the different things, organite, flutes, <laughs> all these different technologies and things, uh, I've never been super into crystals. Uh, I just, you know, I, I love crystals and I love looking at crystals and I love holding crystals and I love other people's crystals, but I've never been like, you know, die hard. Ooh, I've got to have this stone. I've got to have that stone or whatever. Um, recently, I realized that when I was a kid, my favorite color was glow and dark. And it wasn't, I did love things that glow in the dark that were, you know, would light up when charged and then you turn off the lights. Uh, but really what I was pining after was jade, I think. And so recently I found myself going online and finding little jade pieces and getting little jewelry things. So I've been waiting for these pieces to come for a really long time. They came all the way from China on, on really cheap shipping, you know, so you basically only pay the shipping and like a couple of dollars and that you bid, you know, if nobody else outbids you, then you're really only paying for the shipping cost or whatever, and yeah. Uh, so I've been waiting for these to come for a while, at least I ordered three, and uh, I've been waiting for them to come, and only two came today so far, because they were from the same person, so they shipped them together. But what was interesting about it is that I find when... Well, I find um, a lot of people have interesting stories around stones and crystals. And when a crystal comes into your life, a certain thing happens sometimes. Not all the time. Uh, you know, and so uh, when I found all of a sudden, uh, I had a friend come over yesterday and I made uh, pendants out of the stones that he gave me, uh, some of the stones. One of them was this string of serpentine. Uh, it's this greenish stone, and it had a tag on it, and it said jade, and he wasn't sure why it said jade, because it wasn't jade, you know, but, um, interesting stuff. Hang on a second. And <clears throat> I made a certain thing out of it, and I wore it today because I was going, like, I was just intuiting, and I just put my hand here in front of my, all, all, like, six of my pendants, and I was like, which one do I need to wear? So I put a little hook on them so that they can be worn with the string. And I went like this, and it, my hand went to the one <clears throat> with the serpentine in it. I was like, that's interesting, because I was holding it, and although I'm attracted to the color, because it has, it's green, and it has this translucence, and I find that attractive, like when I was a kid, and I was looking at the, the glow-in-the-dark stuff, it was the translucence of the material and the mysterious green color that I was really attracted to for some reason. I like to be able to look at it, look at it, see it, and, and, and have this like eerie quality of, of translucence and like you can almost see through it but not quite and it picks up the light in a, in a unique way. That's what I really liked. So I liked this about the uh, string of beads that he gave me, uh, but I was testing it, like the energy of it, and when I when I test the energy of a stone for some reason, if I'm like really close to it and it's good for me, then it usually just comes right to my heart chakra, and it'll stay there. If I hold it like this or whatever, and I need to get used to it, then, and, and this is what happened, I, I was holding it and it went all the way out here, and it was like, whoa, okay. And so I just kind of dismissed it for a little while. Oh, maybe this stone isn't really good for me. You know, I'm, I, I don't do a lot of testing, you know, or uh, uh, tuning into stones because I'm not a big stone person or, or crystal person anyway. And so I just kind of dismissed it. Like, oh, maybe I, this stone isn't good for me. Well, I started wearing this pendant. It's downstairs. Otherwise, I would show it to you. It, um, <clears throat> it, it wasn't this one, but it was. it's a similar one to this one in my, in my video. I'm not sure if you saw both of them. Uh, and it had a little a little bead inside of it. For some reason, I went to that one instead of this one, which is the only one with a different type of, of stone in it. The other one only has the jadeite, not jadeite, uh, has the serpentine, which said jade on it for some reason. And I was working today, I'm writing and writing and writing, and I could feel it do something to my heart chakra. 
and it made me loopy. Um, and I was like, maybe this stone isn't good for me because I could feel this like extreme heat. And it sort of felt like it was opening my heart chakra, but at the same time, it was making me so loopy, it was difficult for me to write. And so I was like, maybe this isn't good, you know? And so then I looked up the spiritual properties of it and everything made perfect sense, uh, you know? And I couldn't see a reason why it wouldn't be a good stone for me, so I kept wearing it. And eventually it got used to it and I was open and I felt really calm and it was nice. I'm like, okay, it was just the, the weird effects of it <clears throat> that were happening that I was feeling. And so I should have worn it anyway. And so I did. Well, then lo and behold, today, There we go. Uh, my jade came. So, you know, similar colors, these different stones, and of course they're already ready. I, I, I was about to be out the door to go do chores, and then I went to get the mail, and they were there. And I was wearing the pendant still, and I opened it up, and it's got a string attached to it, and I'm like, oh, hello. Yoink, <laughs> I took it off and put the new one on, because this is amazing. You probably saw a little bit of it as, walking, as I was walking by. Check that out. Isn't that the most gorgeous thing you've ever seen? Oh my god. I can turn off the, uh, turn back the uh, autofocus on so that you can see it better. More detail. See? Isn't that amazing? It's my new piece. It has this amazing quality to it and you can definitely see uh, it has the translucence, you know, it's totally amazing, you can see the light shining through it, I'm in love with it, it's my new husband, <laughs> um, and then when I put it on, I feel like I'm already used to it, I do not feel like these other stones, the fake jade, the serpentine or whatever was meant to be there forever, because I was, felt like it was a little weird for me, but at the same time, I sort of felt like it was preparing the way, because then I, uh, all of a sudden, this wasn't so harsh, and the energy of it is a little bit similar, but much more polished and high and protective, and I was just like, sort of had this in the entire trip, and I'm just kind of like, like sinking into it, you know, and getting, uh, getting centered by it. And now I'm just going to read. So that was just, I know it's not that exciting, but like I felt like this was coming into my life, these two pieces of jade actually, but more specifically this one, which I think is kind of like magical. <laughs> Look at it. I mean, my God. Uh, and so I felt like the other stone decided to prepare me for this one so that it wouldn't be such a, a shock to my system because I'm going to be wearing this a lot. I love it. Uh, now I just wanted to read what jade is good for. Oh, Jane, Jade, Jane, who's Jane? Jane says, la la la, focusing in and out, blurry sarka, not blurry sarka, there we go. Jade is known as a dream stone and a stone of fidelity, bringing realization to one's potential and devotion to one's purpose. It improves one's remembering of dreams and assists in dream solving. It is used to release suppressed emotions via the dream process. For this activity, a piece of jade is placed under the pillow. It, may, it also allows one access to the basic rituals and knowledge used during the Mayan dream time. It furthers the connection with the elders of the Mayan culture, assisting one excuse me, in obtaining the necessary insights for performing the ceremonial services. Jane, Jade, I don't know why I keep saying that. Uh, Jade was revered in the Mayan culture as the sovereign of harmony, facilitating peace within the physical, emotional, intel and intellectual structures, as well as within the materialistic world. It is said to bring accord to the environment, to transmute negativity, and to inst instill resourcefulness. I felt that, interestingly, today, like, everything was there. Nope, nope, don't want to do that, don't want to do this, don't want to do that, going to do that, going to do this. I was just like... I had it all planned out already. Um, access to the spiritual worlds. As the visible world is nourished by the invisible, humanity can be sustained, preserved by the lovely visions of dreamers. One who reveres a beautiful vision or ideal can utilize the energies of Jade to assist in realizing these, those thoughts. Jade helps one to cherish one's desires and facilitates the building of one's dreams in this physical reality. 
It releases, releases one's limitations such that permission is granted, which allows one to actualize aspirations and to attain limitless achievements. It inspires and induces ambition towards the accomplishment of objectives. Tunes one to the needs of others and inspires wisdom during the assessment of problems, pronounced balancing of one's needs with the requirements of the day, allowing one to recognize and to care for that which is of prime importance to well-being. Provides confidence. I felt very confident when I was wearing it. I walked through the mall, actually, which terrifies me most of the time, and I was just kind of like, what up, bitches? You know? Um... Uh, provides self uh, assisting one in the attainment of self assuredness, self reliance, and self sufficiency. Very much so. Can be used in the treatment of disorders of the heart, uh, different things. Yeah. <clears throat> so, <sighs> I just feel so good about this piece. I feel like it's already a part of me. And I feel like for some reason that other stone decided to like pair me for it so that it wouldn't be so shocking to my system when I did put it on because it wasn't jarring at all. It was just kind of like, put right there and yes, I am ready for this. My whole life I've been seeking the stone for some reason, these pieces of jade and I've always been attracted to little jade Buddhas and things. I never really realized it though. I believe I was like a, a Taoist alchemist, you know, Nadon practitioner or something in another life and you know, I've always been attracted to, to, to jade and that translucence of it. And jade is very significant in the Taoist tradition and the uh, Chinese culture in particular, of course. And, yeah. So. Awesome. I've been wearing this all the time. I feel like it's it's also like sort of a magician's stone in a way. Like, it's, it's, it's magical to me. Okay. That wasn't short. 